Our final presenter uh, this afternoon is Sarah Haskell. Um, Sarah is your basic sailor, swimmer, seeker, and stargazer. A woman obsessed with threads. Her focus for over 50 years has been making art with woven thread, but more importantly, uh, an exploration of the metaphorical threads, the meanings, the invisible threads that bind one heart to another, and the common threads that connect us all and run deep in communities and cultures. This world can be a challenge to navigate. Throughout my life, I have sought people, places, objects, practices, or processes that keep me on track, help me course correct, guiding me back to my authentic self. Making art with textiles has been one path that grounds me and directs my inner compass. The inherent repetitive motions, the slow, methodical processes of textiles unlocks my intuition, opening access to a universal consciousness. Days on Monhegan were spent witnessing inside and out, making and merging, weathering and waiting, observing and absorbing, engaging and gathering, finding my bearings both in the studio and out in the landscape. In the studio, stitching on a work in process, an ASL alphabet stitched on antique linen squares mounted on hand-woven indigo-dyed linen, thread by thread, sinking into the now of making and the presence of the island. Two weeks in, nine yards mounted and embroidered, I am leaning into the mystery of what is, an observation. Being away from home on an island forces me to think beyond typical boundaries and perceived limitations. October 9th, marking time by observing change. Almost as a daily devotional practice, I step outside to watch the sunset, stepping away from the comfort of the studio, moving out of my head and into my heart. Gathering objects to use for rust printing on handwoven linen, a ring from the wreck of the Sheridan, bottle caps from the brewery, bed springs, chains, and spikes from Fish Beach, mark making with island evidence, traces of lives lived. Monhegan indoors, whoops, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Something skipped there, all right. Uh, quiet time, alone time, witnessing as well as activating actively participating in the natural process of transformation. Time alone with no expectation. There's the slide that got a little out of order there. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to skip that. <laughs> All right, that was indoors on a rainy day, collaging with rusted papers. Monhegan, where, where weather shapes the physical through rain, wind, fog, erosion, and tides. Monhegan indoors, beyond the bold and obvious, moving towards the subtle and the invisible. Okay. En plein air. En plein air versus in plain sight. Making art out in the community, out of the studio. Conversation is a pathway to dissolving boundaries. The call to trap day. The island where everyone knows who I am, but few know my name. Stepping into the void of unscheduled time, using turmeric, black beans, fall plants to dye thread and paper, transforming rusted paper into spun thread. And as these physical materials transform, I witness my own transformation. When we remember, 44 inches by 34 inches, rust printed, bleached, dyed woven linen, hand spun paper, pieced and stitched, when we remember that we too are made from organic materials, 
that we too are impermanent, there is a softening and a grace, allowing my textiles to be vulnerable and exposed to time and materials and the elements. I have let go of what I hold precious, invited the unexpected, and taken hold of what I perceive as everlasting. <clears throat> Enduring, 48 by 30 inches, indigo dyed, rust printed, bleached, woven linen, pieced and stitched. Examining the ephemeral and the invisible only affirms my awareness of the enduring energy of love. Each moment that I can hold on the tip of my finger is a recalibration, a course correction. Letting go and leaning in to what is allows me the freedom to focus on process rather than product. The why is more important to me than the what or the how. This is looking for answers, 42 by 30 inches, rust printed, bleached, painted, embroidered, woven linen. Looking for answers to big questions makes me feel small. And small is okay. This is a chain of life. It's rusted chain from Fish Beach with turmeric dyed linen. We really are a small part of a big universe. This chain of thought spurs project ideas such as an installation of rusted bed springs from Fish Beach, of island with island dreaming sleep stories. Embroidered leaf, four inches by three inches with indigo dyed thread, small and ephemeral, but not insignificant. Each stitch building to a greater whole, working small and portable so that I can work beyond the walls of my studio in plain sight, and out in the community. This is called Wingspan. It is a work in progress, working large, six by 16 feet, hand-woven indigo dyed linen, standing atop the Monhegan Island light where water meets sky and land disappears, absorbing this wide horizon and coming home. Just as the island light beams across the sky to guide sailors away from danger, this beacon was there for me in the middle of my waking nights, sweeping, shining, saying, stay on course, everything's gonna be all right. <laughs>